Hello! In this lecture, we'll go over all selection tools in Blender. Let's press Shift A and add different objects. We can select objects by left clicking. If we want to select more than one object, we can hold Shift and click left. Also, we can hold left clicking and drag the mouse for box selection. So, we can select all objects that touched by the box. As you can see, one of the selected objects has yellow outline. The others have orange outline. The yellow outline object is active selection. Active selection is the last selected object. If you want to make a object active selection, you should select this object the last. Let's switch the pivot point to active element. In this case, new pivot point will be origin of the active selection. So, all transforms will be around the active selection. We can switch to circle selection tool from the sidebar menu. To do this, hold left clicking on the menu and switch to the circle selection. Shortcut is C key. To select object, hold left clicking and drag the circle on the object. But, the circle should touch origin of the objects. You can change size of the circle by scroll the mouse wheel up or down. If you want to deselect some objects, hold shift key, and then, hold left clicking and drag the mouse. Lasso select tool is used to create free form selection. To select objects, hold left clicking and draw free form around the origin of the object. We can have much more selection options in the select menu. To select all objects in the screen, press A key. To deselect all objects in the screen, press Alt A. To select all objects apart from the selected object, press Ctrl I and invert selection. Let's press Shift A and add a curve. Go to Select menu and go down the Select All by type. If we select the Mesh option, only Mesh objects will be selected. If we select the curve, only curve objects will be selected. Let's select all objects except the sphere. To do this, select the sphere and press Ctrl I. Let's press H key and hide selected objects. Select the sphere and set origin to 3D cursor. Press Shift D and duplicate the sphere. Then, Right-click and mirror the duplicated sphere on the Y-axis. Now, let's go to Select Menu and select Mirror Selection. There we go. We have selected mirrored object. Select Random option enables to select objects randomly. Let's make hierarchy between objects. Firstly, let's select the cube and then sphere. Then, right-click and set the object's parenting. In this case, the sphere will be parent of the cube. The cube will be child of the sphere. If we try to move the sphere, the cube also will move together with the sphere. But, if we try to move the cube, it will move independently. Let's set hierarchy for other objects also. Now, all objects connected each other with parenting and child relationship. So, we can select more or less connected objects. Let's select the sphere and go to select menu. If we select more, it will expand selection. The shortcut is Control numpad plus. If we select less, it will deselect objects.
The shortcut is Control Numpad minus. We can select parent of a object. Also, we can select child of a object. We can extend parents of a object. Let's select the cone and extend its parents. In the same way, we can extend children of a object. Let's select the sphere and extend its children. We can select objects in the same group. Let's move the sphere and cube to a different collection. Go to select menu and choose the collection. There we go. Sphere and cube will be selected together. Let's add same materials for the sphere and cylinder. Go to select linked and choose material option. So, sphere and and cylinder will be selected together because they are linked with material. We can also use selection tools in edit mode. Edit mode has three different selection modes. Vertex, edge and face selection modes. We can switch to different modes in the top menu. In the vertex selection mode, we can only select vertices. In the edge selection mode only edges and in the face mode only faces can be selected. Let's switch to vertex mode. We can select all vertices of the mesh by pressing A key. If we press Alt A, all vertices will be deselected. Let's select only 4 vertices and press Ctrl I. There we go. All vertices will be selected except these 4 vertices. Let's switch to face selection mode. Press a key and select all faces of the sphere. Then, go to select menu and choose the checker deselect. As you can see, selection will be like checker board. Let's switch to edge selection mode. Select this edge. Go to select mode and choose edge loop. As you can see, it will select a loop of connected edges. Shortcut is Alt left click. Hover over the edge and hold Alt and left click. Let's select the same edge and this time choose edge ring. There we go. Shortcut is Ctrl Alt left click. We can also select face loops and face rings. We can also select more or less vertices, edges and faces connected to first selection. Shortcut is Ctrl Numpad Plus for more selection and Ctrl Numpad Minus for less selection. Let's switch to Material Preview Mode and assign different materials to some faces of the sphere. Select one of faces we have assigned different material. Let's go to selection menu and go down select similar. Choose material option. There we go. All faces which has the same material will be selected. 
Let's add monkey head. Hover mouse cursor over the monkey head and press L key. It will select all vertices linked to each other. As you can see, monkey eyes cannot be selected. It is because eyes vertices not connected to monkey head. We can also delimit selection with material. Let's hover mouse cursor over the sphere and press L key. If we don't want to deselect faces which has different material, we should choose material option. If we want to select vertices between two vertices, we should select first vertex and hold control key and select second vertex. Let's go to select menu and go down the select all by trait. If we choose the faces by sides option, it will only select the quad faces. Triangle faces won't be selected. Let's delete all objects in the screen and add a new monkey head. Press one key and switch to front view. Let's select some vertices of the monkey head. Go to select menu and go down mirror selection. There we go. Mirrored vertices will be selected on the X axis. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.